Now welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we are back in the highly professional X-Plane Flight Simulator where we have only the most professional plane models and a flying box. Yeah, this is really just a flying box. Jeff Bezos will be happy with the invention of the flying box. He can finally deliver for cheap, but the box doesn't look too happy about it. Oh yeah. It's actually quite sad, isn't it? Quite sad Amazon box. What is this? Yeah, this is just one of those interesting, very highly realistic aircraft models you can find here on the store that people make themselves. Yeah, this is one of those custom designs here. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. It, it, it doesn't even fly properly. I mean, it doesn't even fly properly like at all. If it would, then uh, that's another story. But like, it doesn't. We're going to crash into the ocean now. Great. <laughs> what is this add on? It doesn't even work. It says it here. Also, plane doesn't have gear. So start on 300 mile approach. I mean, genuinely, this is probably one of the worst creations I've ever seen for the flight simulator. I mean, it doesn't even fly. Oh, I think I figured out how to fly it. All right. Amazon. Amazon delivery. Somewhat stable now. That's just great. Just absolute, you know, great on the realism side as well. You know, we just love to see how realistic this flight simulator can be. Great. I don't know what this video is. I mean, you know, it's important to showcase the creativity of the flight simulator community sometimes, you know? You guys, we can create so much and it's just absolutely beautiful. Always, pretty much, right? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, seriously though, we on the custom designs, we can actually find some more serious airplanes. Maybe try this one right here, an Edo 28 that can take off vertically a VTOL Edo 28. How bad can it be? Let's check it out. Alrighty, so finally a plane that has somewhat of realism in it. Welcome aboard this Edo 28, which actually doesn't exist in real life, but not in this variant, the VTOL variant, taking off, oh man, without actually moving. Pretty much, you know what I mean? You know, horizontally. There we go. Actually, this flies super nicely. I've flown some VTOL planes here on the channel. It's not always gone this well. Look at this. Look how stable this thing moves. I like this. I do like this. All right. So, let's go ahead and actually... Why is this so quiet, by the way, though? Come on. Where's the engine sound? Great. Now, let's actually, though, try to switch to the not VTOL mode. How do I do that? Hmm. This is weird. I don't get this plane now. Hmm. Very interesting, isn't it? Okay, so what does that do? Okay, this made everything worse. So I think I found the switch here now to the not VTOL mode. Here's actually the, I think, angle of the engines, right? There we go! Here we go. This is finally a plane that flies nicely. You know, I do like VTOL planes. I do think that they are partly the future of airplanes. I mean, seriously, especially with air taxis that are coming. Of course, they cannot land in the middle of the city on a runway. They, of course, also need to be able to fly vertically, right? So that's perfect. Perfect. Okay, this plane may be a little bit sensitive to the roll controls. Holy moly, this flies like a fighter jet. <laughs> Great. Yeah, not too realistic, but this is, this is not bad. Let's go maybe go back to hover mode because I'm tired of the uh, horizontal flying. There we go. Very easy change. Look, look how easily these rotors move. There we go. Nice. All right. So, um, that's on that one. The only thing that I'm kind of scared of uh, with VTOL planes, pretty much all VTOL planes, is when some engines fail, right? Because that's not going to go very well, is it? We can try it here. That's the reason we have fight simulation. Let's go ahead and fail engine 2 and engine 4. What's going to happen then? All right. Oh, yeah. Not all two are... Holy moly, we've lost us completely. Yeah. Great, that's just absolute death. So, you know, losing your engines probably you don't want to do with the VTOL planes, but actually, never mind. I think I've regained control. Not. Great. This is just a perfectly professional video. So let's move on here to the next add-on that I found. Ancient Chinese flying chair. Great. I mean, how bad can it be? Are those rockets? Holy moly, please no. Alright, so welcome aboard our flying chair. It is really what it is. It's flying just see if it flies. Oh, it doesn't appear to fly super well. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Great. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Holy moly, this is absolutely... I mean, it flies. So they're not lying about that part. Holy moly, what was that? All right, here we go. I've, I think I've actually regained control of this aircraft, haven't I? Great, so welcome aboard our flying chair. Great. I mean, this is actually supposed to, you know, uh, simulate something that apparently happened in real life in ancient China, where an ancient Chinese person did try that, put rockets on a chair and, and take off. No one knows what happens next. Great, I mean, I can't imagine. Sitting on this chair, I think it would probably be very much dead. I mean, you know, I don't really like the, how the handling of this chair goes. I mean, there's not much control surface, which you can really tell here in the handling of this aircraft. They could definitely do some changes about why am I even doing this? <laughs> I think there are regular fireworks rockets. 
That's just great. I like, I like how I like how this is going. All right, let's get something serious though. What do we got here? The LCSMT03 Mammoth. God damn! Look at those winglets. God damn! <laughs> what are those? Holy mo! That's actually a genius. All right, welcome aboard the Mammoth. Holy moly! In the flight simulator itself, it looks even weirder. What the? I mean, as long as it flies. But what are those winglets, dude? That's like taller than an A3. 1080. Genuinely, what, what are those? <laughs> I wonder what the performance of this plane will be. I'm pretty sure, you know, the vertical stabilization is there. Right. That's just great. Pretty sure this, uh, what, what is this? This looks like an insect or like something very weird. I mean, let's take off and see if it's going to work. We're at 200 knots and we are definitely not taking off anytime soon. Yeah, that's some great performance. Taking off at barely 250 knots, which is literally how fast you are allowed to go below 10,000 feet. You cannot go as faster than that. We're kind of breaking the, the law right now. That's just great. I mean, what I can tell though is that this plane can actually fly at some quite good speeds. You've just crashed quite a bit. Holy moly. I mean, yes, indeed. I'm pretty sure this plane flies quite stably. Pretty much the uh, even weirder and, and very much weirder version of the Piaggio Avanti or something with this weird wing in front of the damn plane. Probably acting as the horizontal stabilizer. Great. And you know, this is a perfect futuristic concept with those six engines that are very, very economical, I can imagine. See, we appreciate this kind of creativity here. Now, would a U.S. Air Force ever fly a flight this? No. Look at the cockpit as well. <laughs> Great. Oh my god, how fast are we now? I mean, speed is probably what this plane can do quite well. We're almost at a Mach. I'm not quite sure if the plane is happy right now, but I just, I mean, just, again, the, the vertical stabilizers are just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, do these also act as rudders? Oh, they do. They do, and they rudder quite a bit. Great. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, we've crashed. All right, so what else have other people uploaded? SpaX Starship. They added that to the flight simulator. I mean, it looks pretty good. Quite hyped to try. Okay. Welcome aboard a rocket. I mean, we have... We, I'm always up for new stuff. Let's see if we can take it off. Oh, yeah. This actually flies very well. Nice. Can we Can we get this? Can we leave Earth? I think that would be best to end this video, right? Probably going to crash. <laughs> but actually... Keeping control of this aircraft is actually quite possible. This has probably been the best developed aircraft so far, isn't it? Look how nice this plane flies. Oh no, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Elon Musk will not hire me now. Look at the interesting control surfaces now as well. Okay, we've we've kind of lost it, haven't we? All right, come on. Oh, don't fail. Oh, I've regained control, everybody. Proud to, let's come in for a landing. I don't even know what this video is. Just great. Let me butter this one. Let's butter a rocket. Have you ever seen that before? No. Yes. Nice, I do oh. Oh. I mean, we've landed. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Keep up the, the good work, dear developers. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night. Now, thank you to my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emmett, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Cheese Doritos, Shadow, Anime Planes, Razor One, X Men Show, Laird, The Slama, Puturing, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Paralogy.